process be right now in your in your uh, time right now? Um, the thriller, just because I haven't done something like that, you know. Uh, the truth is, man, like if we do a Spike reboot, I'd love to help recast it, uh, but. Without like, without like a billion dollar computer animation on this face. I mean like, you don't want to be like, like, oh, Spike looks so good for his age. Like, he's, just, he's a vampire, he doesn't age at all, right? So, like I told Joss, um, when Angel was uh, coming to the end, and uh, I just pulled him aside and I said, look, if you want to film me as Spike, you have seven years, and I'll, if you call me, wherever I am on Earth, for one line or 500 lines, I'm there for you. But if you want me in that role, there's a shelf. So we got seven years to get him on film. After that, it's just I don't want to. I don't want to do the roles. You know, oh, Spike is drinking pig's blood. He's aging a little bit, and all that stuff. Because one of the coolest things about a vampire is that he doesn't age. That's the whole thing. So he. That's the. Josh was just like. It's the first time I said anything like no to him. He was, he was confused and angry, but I, I, I think that that's I think that that's probably right, you know. Um, now though, they have uh, they have these actually in movies they have in the budget they have computer retouches for actors' faces, and they are doing this now in film. They're youthening people on film, and I, when I saw that, I was like, hey, I never know. So I mean, um, if if there was some way through lighting or computers or whatever it was, or like a bucket of face type, right? Just like, <laughs> some way that you could you could make that believable, then maybe that would be my first choice, but but uh, um, yeah, only if that was only if that was possible. It would be fun to do, but I wouldn't want to ruin it at the end. We have Celine down here.